Welcome to Carl M. Cuss Memorial Field at Regner Park in West Bend. I'm the Bear Barry Hirsch as we bring you West Bend Community Television's production of High School Baseball. Our game today is the West Bend West Spartans against the Hartford Orioles. West Bend coming into today's matchup with an overall record of 11 and 8, 9 and 7 in the North Shore Conference. That has them in a fourth place tie right now with Grafton. Meanwhile, the Hartford Orioles coming into action today in this ball game with an overall record of 9 and 12. And in sixth place in the North Shore Conference, a record of 7 and 9 in the North Shore Conference. First of two meetings on the season between the two teams. They'll meet up again uh, this week on May the 16th. This game being played on Tuesday, May the 14th uh, here in West Bend. They play again in Hartford on the 16th. We'll give you more stats as our game continues. We're ready to go for baseball action. Nick Baganski, the shortstop, number four, will lead things off for Hartford. He'll face uh, Scott Heinrich, the starting pitcher for the West Bend West Spartans here on what's turned out to be a beautiful afternoon for baseball as you rewatch this broadcast. Of course, uh, a lot of weather been plagued here throughout the spring season. Not to the liking of many fans. Here's the first pitch of the game, and it's down the pipe for strike one. Of course, the WIAA decided that we're going to an all spring league. We're gonna split up, no more summer league and spring league, and everybody now plays in the spring, despite the fact that spring weather in Wisconsin, not the greatest. 0-1 pitch, just a little bit low inside for a ball, one and one. Logan Chesick is the catcher for the Spartans today, calling the signals. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Swung on and a fly ball. This going off into foul territory off the right side and out of play onto the street. And it'll be one ball and two strikes. Setting up the uh, rest of the defense for the uh, Spartans in the outfield. Left field is Brad Weber. Right field is Logan Rupnow. And in the middle, Jimmy D'Angelo is in center field. We'll get you the infield lineup here in just a minute. Meanwhile, the one-two pitch coming here from uh, Heinrich. It's on the way. Whoa, just low and inside for a ball. And that'll even it up at two and two. On the infield for the Spartans today, Lucas Broski is at first base. Second base, Jordan D'Angelo. Gavin Hinckley is at shortstop, and over at uh, third base is Tyler Young. Two balls, two strikes to Nick Baganski, the leadoff batter for the Orioles here in the top of the first. Heinrich looks, here's the pitch. Swung on in a hard chopper down to third, picked up by Tyler Young and bounced off of Young's glove. And into left field for, we'll see if that's going to be scored a hit or an error off of the uh, glove of Tyler Young. The second batter is number 21. Bryce Zimdars. So Bryce Zimdars will come up to bat. He's DHing here today for Hartford for the pitcher Hankel. And that'll be an error, they're saying, charge to uh, Tyler Young at third base. So now Henrik will work out of the stretch. Squared a bunt by Zimdars is low. Batting uh, third today for Hartford will be the first baseman, Zach Brewer. Lucas Simon will back cleanup, play third base. Zach Ziebenlist will uh, play center field and bat fifth. Batting sixth is going to be the left fielder, Blake Voss. Batting uh, seventh is Trent Burkle at catcher. As he squares to bun down the 0-1 pitch. Here it comes in the dirt low, throw fake to first, no. Batting eighth will be the right fielder, Cade Yenders. And batting ninth for Hartford today will be the second baseman, Tommy Sheehan. Runner on at first, that's Bigaski. He got on by the error. And the second batter in there now. One ball, one strike count to designated hitter, Bryce Zimdars. Zimdars squares to bunt, the pitch. Good bunt down the first baseline. It'll roll foul. And that'll bring the count to one ball and two strikes. First of two meetings on the season between the two clubs. Today is Tuesday, May the 14th, when this game's being played. They'll play again this week on Thursday, May the 16th. That game will be played over in Hartford, which is one of the ways that the schedule has come out this year with the, everybody going to the Spring League. You play everybody either on a one-day doubleheader or twice within the same week. Now Hendrick from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Low in the dirt for a ball. It's 2-2. Two and two. West Bend West, of course, has a new head coach this year. Dan D'Amico takes over the reins.
Now the check of the runner, the pitch, 2-2, swung on, ground ball. That's going to get through for a base hit. Baganski will go to second and stop there. And Hartford is setting up uh, with their first two runners aboard here this afternoon. First and second, nobody out. And that'll bring up Zach Brewer, the first baseman. Chance to bring in the first run of the game. Again, just a gorgeous afternoon for baseball. A light breeze, 67 degrees here in West Bend on this Tuesday afternoon. Low in the dirt for a ball. Nice save there by Chesek. And it's 1-0. and oh. <laughs> Baganski, the runner at second. He got aboard to start this game on an air. And then just moments ago, Zimders with the single. Now a check of the runners. Henrik from the stretch. Here's the pitch. That misses outside, throw it on to second. They got a chance at a play, no. Runner back in time. Two balls, no strikes. Brewer steps out of the box, checks down to his third base coach for the signs. And now steps back in. Heinrich the check of the runners and the pitch. Squared a bunt, comes up. Heinrich comes off the mound for it. No play on it either as Chesick tried coming up for it also, and that's going to be an infield single for Zach Brewer. And now the Orioles have the bases loaded and nobody out. Number 27, Lucas Simon. That's going to bring up the third baseman, Lucas Simon. So an error and back-to-back -back base hits by the Hartford Orioles has bases loaded and nobody out. Here's the pitch. Inside and low for a ball, 1-0. Hartford, as I mentioned, coming in 7-9 in the conference, 9-12 overall. Right now looking to break a losing streak. They've lost six of their last seven games coming into this game today. There's a strike. Evens the count at one and one. Most recent game for Hartford was a loss, a non-conference matchup against Milwaukee King, six to three. Now Heinrich out of the stretch in the one-one pitch. Low and inside for a ball, and it's now two and one. Baganski at third, representing the first run of the game. Zimdars at second, Zach Brewer at first. Nowhere to go with Lucas Simon. Here's the 2-1. Inside corner called for a strike, and it's 2-2. Two and two. This umpire is known in the league to have a very tight strike zone call. And that one could have easily gone as a ball, but it just caught the corner for a strike, so it's even at 2-2. Two and two. Heinrich from the stretch, the pitch. Low for a ball, and he works it full. Three balls, two strikes. Nobody out, so runners don't necessarily have to leave on the pitch. They'll wait for contact. We're only in the top of the first, just underway in this ball game. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Swung on, base hit through the middle. That'll bring one run in for sure. They're going to wave Zimdars in. He'll come in for a score. It's 2 to nothing, Hartford. On a double by Lucas Zimdars. Or Lucas Simon, my correction. Zimdars came in to score, as did Baganski. Brewer goes to second. So still nobody out, and now a meeting at the mound here as the Spartans not off to a good start here as yet to get an out in this game. Three straight singles along with an error have led to a couple of runs here by Hartford in this top of the first inning. But West Bend West has yet to even come up. It's going to bring up the center fielder, Zach Ziebenlist, with runners at first and second. Yeah. 
So Heinrich will still work out on the stretch with runners at first and second and no outs. Here's the pitch, square to bunt. Takes it for a strike. Looking for a double play ball here to maybe brighten things up on that West defense. The pitch, square to bunt again. Nice one. Heinrich off the mound, throw to first. Got him in time for the first out. Nice hustle off the mound there by Scott Heinrich and throws it down to first baseman One, Lucas Brosny for the first Boss. out. But that did allow the runners now. Brewer advances to second, or to third, excuse me. Simon goes down to second. And that'll bring up Blake Voss, the left fielder. Check on the runners from the stretch, the pitch. Low for a ball, 1-0. Well, it's batting in the sixth slot here this afternoon for Hartford. Heinrich checks from the stretch, the pitch, swung and a miss for a strike. Count evens, one ball, one strike. One out, two runs across already for the Orioles here in their half of the first inning. Still with some ducks on the pond, as they say. Runners at second and third right now. Pitch by Heinrich. Misses, throw down to second, and did he get him? No, ball bounces off a of second base into the outfield. That's gonna allow Brewer to come in and score. It's three to nothing in favor of Hartford. And Simon will advance down to second on that throw. So a bad hop on the throw allows another run to come in. It's now three nothing Hartford, only one out. And still a runner now at third base in Lucas Simon. Bloss steps back in with a 2-1 count on his matchup. The pitch. Gets it in there for a strike and evens up at two balls, two strikes. So two errors and a couple of singles here in the first inning have cost the Spartans. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Swung on, chopper to third. Nice stab and grab there by Tyler Young. Wasn't enough time though to get it in. That allows Simon to come in and score. Now four to nothing in favor of Hartford. And Voss gets the infield single. Now Trent Burkle with the bases empty, so Hartford makes the most of their chances with all their runners on the base pads having scored. Here's the pitch. Low for a ball. One ball, no strikes. Check of the runner, and a proverbial throw over to first base to Broski, who catches it, but Voss back in safely. One-0 -oh pitch, runner leads. There's a strike and it's one and one. Four runs, three hits already for the Orioles on two errors by the Spartans. The pitch, upstairs, a little high to the chin there, and it goes to two and one. Heinrich's pitch count getting a little high already for this first inning. 29 with this next one coming. Here it is. Inside corner for a strike, and that evens the count, two balls, two strikes. Seven innings of baseball in high school, unless it's a run rule. So a long way to go in this one yet. Spartans have yet to even come up to the plate. Now a check of the runner from the stretch, the 2-2 pitch. Oh, inside, just missed, and it works at full now. Three balls, two strikes. Burkle steps out a moment, takes a check at the signs coming from his coach. 
Now back in the box. Heinrich ready for to go with the 3-2 pitch from the stretch. And he takes it, ball four. So he gives up a walk. And Hartford again with runners in scoring position now. First and second. Cade Yenders. Cade Yenders will step up to the plate here in a moment. Logan Chesick goes out to the mound and has a word with his pitcher, as does Lucas Broski. Not a good start here for Scott Henrik. First batter got on with an error and then a couple of straight singles. And now a walk. And still only one man out. And now Hartford threatening again. Here's the pitch. Inside for a ball. And apparently Dan D'Amico gonna try to let Heinrich work out of this first inning. Doesn't show anybody warming up as of yet. But we're early again, only the first. Tech pitch. Low for a ball, 2-0. and oh. And now Heinrich having some problems with control and finding that strike zone. Two balls, no strikes. Blake Voss on it second. Burkle on it first. The pitch. There is a strike. And it's two and one. Heinrich, check the runners from the stretch, the pitch. Misses that one upstairs. And now it's three balls, one strike. On deck will be Tommy Sheehan, and he would be the ninth batter to go up here in this top of the first inning for Hartford. 3-1 pitch, missed it way upstairs. He's walked two straight batters, and now the bases are loaded once again for the Hartford Orioles. And Heinrich might not even make it out of this first inning. As we're gonna get a complete meeting of the minds, as they say at the mound. Number 15, Tommy Sheehan. I'll bring up Tommy Sheehan. With the bases loaded. And there is a strike, a much needed strike from Heinrich. Oh, Prosky, I've been informed now, has come in to pitch. So Prosky now the pitcher, and he throws another strike. Pitch. Swung on, fly ball, right field, giving chase is up now. He can't get it, it's off the fence. One run is in. And now they've got a runner tied up in the middle and we're gonna get a force out somewhere out on the infield. No, they call everybody safe. Wow. So a deep fly ball, Tommy Sheehan goes off of it. Voss comes in to score, it's five to nothing. Back to the top. Burkell goes to uh, second. Yenders goes down. And for the second time this inning, Nick Boganski will come up. He led this inning off, guiding on base by an error. So five runs on four hits. Here's a high fly pop-up. And it's gonna go up behind the stands here at Regner Park. And we have a new right fielder with that switch. Here's the 0-2. Swung on a miss for a strikeout. So Boganski goes down on strikes. Two down, number 21, Bryce Zimdars. And that'll bring up Bryce Zimdars. First strikeout of the game for the Spartans. There is another strike.
Ground ball, and that one's going to get through for a base hit off the glove. There's one run in, another run rounding second, and coming in, and it's two more runs coming in for the Hartford Orioles as Burkell comes in and Yenders comes in. And the inning continues for the Hartford Orioles. Zimders gets another single to go with his single that he got earlier, plus an RBI. Number eight, Zach Brewer. And now Zach Brewer will come up. He singled and scored earlier this inning. The pitch, swung on a miss for a strike. Brewer, the 12th man to bat for Hartford here in the opening inning. Pitch, missing for a ball. Seven runs on five hits here in the inning for the Orioles. And if you're just tuning this game in, we're only in the top of the first. The Spartans have yet to bat. Here's a base hit shot to center field. And they're going to try to bring around and score. Nope, they're going to hold them up. So another single. And the inning continues for Hartford. Number 27, Lucas Simon. Zimdars goes to second. Brewer goes to third. And now Lucas Simon will come up. He singled and scored earlier in the inning. Looks at a strike. Lucas Broski on in relief of Scott Heinrich, who could not record it, it was just one out. There is a strike. And the Spartans, who have yet to come to bat, are going to have to really climb out of a hole here today, trailing now 7 to nothing. Pitch. Upstairs for a ball. One ball, two strikes. Two outs, and the bases loaded yet again for the Hartford Orioles. Pitch, swung on, and a fly ball foul out of play. Now Broski from the stretch, the pitch. Misses outside for a ball. Two balls, two strikes. Well, unfortunately, I think the only thing we have not seen yet in this long first inning has been a walk walked in. And hopefully we don't see that here now. It's 2-2, the pitch. Swung on, miss, got him. And the inning is finally over. But before it ends, the Hartford Orioles send 13 batters to the plate. They come up with seven Andrew runs on six hits, and there were two West Bend West errors. In the middle of the first, it is Hartford Orioles 7, and the West Bend West Spartans coming to bat. You're watching High School Baseball on West Bend Community Television. Back here at Carl M. Cuss Memorial Field at Regner Park, we go to the bottom of the first inning, and it is seven to nothing in favor of Hartford. Hartford sent 13 batters to the plate, getting six hits. Now the Spartans get their first crack at uh, George Hinkle, who's the starting pitcher today. It'll be Brad Weber, Logan Rupnow, and Lucas Broski, the first three batters of the game for the Spartans. And the first pitch is a strike. Hinkle is the pitcher. His uh, battery mate is Trent Burkell. We'll get you the rest of the defensive order for Hartford here in a moment. Here's the 0-1. Swung on, ground ball to second base. Picked up there by Sheehan. Throw to first for the first out. So the infield for uh, the Hartford Royals, Zach Brewer is at first base. Tommy Sheehan is at second base. At shortstop is Nick Baganski. And at third base, Lucas Simon. The outfield, left field, Blake Voss. Center field, Zach Ziebenlist. And in right field, Cade Genders. Logan Rupp now will bat second for the Spartans with one away. The pitch. Misses for a ball. Lucas Broski will be batting third. Batting cleanup today for the Spartans will be the shortstop. Gavin Hinckley. Tyler Young bats fourth. Logan Chesick is sixth. 
Jordan D'Angelo is seventh. Next pitch low for a ball. The DH batting in the eighth spot today is uh, Pacey Kalkima. And batting ninth will be the center fielder, Jimmy D'Angelo. Spartans with their work cut out for them here in the bottom of the first. Here's the 2-0. There is a strike. Best thing to do at this point is take your time and be calm. Here's the pitch, a fly ball, right center field. That's got some leg room on it. That's gonna bounce in there in the gap. And rounding first and going to second is Logan Rupp now with a double. So there you go, Rupp now gets a double. Number 20, Lucas Brosky. Now Lucas Broski will come up. No balls and one strike to Lucas Broski with Rupp now at second base. Hinkle checks him, here's the pitch. Whoa, high and inside. And it's one ball, one strike. Again, only the first inning here, so a long ways to go and Spartans will get their last ABs here in this game today being the home team. One ball, one strike. Hinkle checks the runner, the pitch. Swung on, fly ball popped. Fading over in the right field territory and did he get the catch? I believe he did make the catch out there. That is uh, Genders with the catch. But tagging up and moving over is Rupp now. So he's on at third now, and now Gavin Hinckley, the shortstop, comes up for West Bend West. Strike called. Hinkley batting in the cleanup spot for the Spartans in this game today. Pitch from Hinkle. Swung on, chopper foul. Just over by the concession stand and dugout area right between our cameraman producer here this afternoon. Now Hinkle looks for the sign from Trent Burkle, his catcher. Here it is, swung on and missed, strike three. And that'll do it for West Bend West here in their half of the first inning. No runs on one hit and one base runner left on. And after one inning of play from Regner Park, it is Hartford seven, West Bend West, nothing. Back at Regner Park and they go to the top of the second inning. Seven to nothing in favor of Hartford. Zach Ziebenlist is leading it off for Hartford. He uh, actually committed the first out of the game back in the first inning. And the ball misses outside. One ball, two strikes. Now the pitch from Broski. Swung on and missed. Strike three. And the first out of the second inning for the Hartford Orioles. Blake Voss. That'll bring up Blake Voss. Voss with a single and scored one of the seven runs that Hartford put across the plate in that first inning.
Pitch. There's a strike. Ahead of the count, 0-2. Here's the pitch coming down with the heat and just missing it. So Lucas Broski having a little bit more control than uh, his starting pitcher Heinrich did. Heinrich only went a third of an inning. The pitch just missed, and now the count full. Two balls, two strikes to Blake Voss. Two-two pitch, strike three, caught him looking. Voss goes down looking on strikes. And now with two gone, that'll bring up Trent Burkle, the catcher. Burkle walked and scored the six of the seven runs that came across for Hartford in the first inning. The pitch. Strike called. And Broski looking very good here in this second inning, coming with the steam and throwing strikes. Right back at it. Swung on, chopper on the infield, scooped up nicely by Hinkley, throw it across, got him, yeah! All right, a much better inning that time defensively for West Bend West. Hartford goes no runs on no hits and nobody left on base. We're in the middle of the second inning. It is Hartford 7, West Bend West nothing. This is High School Baseball on West Bend Community Television. The Bear Barry Hirsch back with you here at Carl M. Cuss Memorial Field in West Bend with Regner Park. We go to the bottom of the second inning, 7 nothing. Hartford leading. It'll be Tyler Young, Logan Chesick, and Jordan D'Angelo for the Spartans, the five, six, and seven batters against George Hinkle. And a hit pitch there. Heard the crowd with their ooh. So Young gets on base, I guess you could say the hard way. And the Spartans have the leadoff runner aboard. At the plate, number six, Logan Chesa. Logan Chesok will now come up to bat. He's catching today. And Tyler Young immediately takes a lead off of first base for the Spartans. Pitch from Hinkle. Low for a ball, it's 1-0. So after a disastrous first inning, the Spartan defense comes through and goes three up, three down in the second inning. Hinkle now from the stretch. That pitch misses. And it's two balls, no strikes. 312 feet down the right field line here at Carlin Cuss Memorial Field at Regner Park. 363 to dead center and 335 down the left field line. 2-0 pitch. Down center field line for a strike and it's two and one. Spartans wearing their traditional home pinstripe uniforms with Spartans written across. Two one pitch, swung on, ground ball, fair down the third baseline, just inside the line. Here's Chesok rounding first, going to second, and Young is held up at third. So a nice double down that third baseline by Chesok. And the Spartans are in business now. Runners at second and third. Nobody out here in the second Jordan inning. D'Angelo. That'll bring up Jordan D'Angelo, the second baseman for the Spartans. Continuing that thought earlier, Hartford dressed in their road uniforms, the gray pants with the orange and black shirts. Pitch, swung on a missed strike. You always think it's Halloween when you play Hartford of that orange and black color, but especially during the football season, depending uh, what week in the football season you play the Orioles, you, it's always got that Halloween theme to it. Now Hinkle ahead, and now time called by home plate umpire, allowing D'Angelo to step out. That double by Chesok was the second hit of the afternoon by the Spartans. It goes along with a double that Rupp now hitting the first. 
Ball upstairs. One ball, one strike. A lot of chatter now coming out of the Spartan dugout. As they try to crawl back into this one, down by seven. Hinkle checks the pitch. High fly ball fading back into right field, but camping underneath it is Genders. He'll make the catch for the out, but uh, tagging up and scoring the first run is Tyler Young. So it's seven to one. One away for number two. Casey that allows Chessock to go there. So a sack fly to right for the first out. And that brings up uh, Pacey Kalkima, the DH. Now a seven to one game. There's a strike, a little bit low, but it's called. No balls, one strike. First run of the game across now for the Spartans here in the second inning. Now trailing by six at seven to one. Pitch swung on and missed in the dirt too. That would have been a ball. And it's no balls, two strikes. Jimmy D'Angelo on deck next for the Spartans. Pitch from Kalkima, ooh, a little bit of chin music inside there, and it will go for a ball. It's two balls, two strikes. Now the pitch. There's a strike call, and he gets caught looking. So that's two gone. And Jimmy D'Angelo will come up. Back, head down. And it looks like we're gonna get a courtesy runner here now for the Spartans. As Chesek will get a chance to get back to the dugout and get courtesy his gear at her. First pitch is the ball. Head down. D'Angelo at center field position here today for the Spartans. Hinkle looking down. Next pitch misses for a ball. Chesick is leading on third, now goes back. Pitch, misses for a ball. And it's three balls, no strikes to Jimmy D'Angelo. Now the 3-0. And he takes it, ball four. So D'Angelo gets on with the free ride. First walk given up here today by uh, George Hinkle. Left fielder number 26, Brad Weber. And we go back to the top of the order for the Spartans and Brad Weber will come up to the plate. Weber Grounded out on the infield to lead this game off for the Spartans back in the first inning. Throw to first and a slide in by D'Angelo. So Spartans with runners on the corners. One run in already in this second inning. Can a throw to first. But the Spartans trailing it now 7-1. Hinkle's pitch, just missed low for a ball. One ball, no strikes. He 
Hinkle checks the runner. Pitch. Misses outside. Two balls, no strikes. Runners at the corners for the Spartans. They each take their lead. The pitch, way outside for a ball. It's 3-0. Well, a walk here to Weber would load up the bases for Rupp now, who doubled in the first inning. Now the 3-0. There's a strike. Three balls, one strike with two outs here in the Spartan second inning. One across already. Hinkle's pitch. And he missed it, ball four. So Weber gets on with the free base. That'll send D'Angelo down to second. Bases loaded and now a meeting at the mound for the Hartford Orioles. Now Logan Rupp now stands in for the Spartans and he looks at a ball. Rupp now the seventh batter in the inning here for the Spartans. Low throw to first and a nice high stab there to save it from going into the outfield by Brewer. Count now two balls and no strikes to Logan Rupp now for the Spartans. Chance to grab some more runs here and crawl back into this one even closer. Hinkle trying to get out of a jam without any further damage. Pitch, hard chopper, and it's gonna be a foul ball. Let's go back. Almost looked like it was gonna take a positive bounce in the fair territory for the Spartans, but not quite. So everybody returns back to where they were, their respective bases. Count now one ball, two strikes to Logan Rupp now. Bases loaded for the Spartans. Chance to get some more runs in here. Hinkle's pitch, swung on in the dirt and missed for strike three. And that'll wrap things up for the Spartans here in the second inning. Now they're calling everybody back. The scoreboard was behind. All right, so the Spartans get uh, one run on one base hit, and they leave the bases loaded with three runners on the base pads. So we have played two innings, and your score after two innings is Hartford 7, West Bend West 1. The Bear Barry Hirsch back here at Regner Park, Harlem Cuss Memorial Field. We go to the top half of inning number three in this matchup between West Bend West and Hartford. Hartford leading West Bend West 7 to 1. Cade Genders will lead it off for Hartford here in the third inning. It's the eight, nine, and one hitters. Genders, Sheehan, and then we go back to Boganski. Genders walked and scored the seventh run of Hartford's seven run first inning. Lucas Broski now into his third inning of work, second full inning of work after he relieved Scott Heinrich. Pitch missing for a ball, it's two and one. Here's the two one. Low, and the count goes to three and one. Three balls, one strike, the pitch. Swung on and missed for a strike. And it's full, three and two. Broski right back, here's the pitch. Chopper foul on the third base side. And 
And the 3 2. Swung on a miss for a strike, and there's one to lead off the inning as Genders goes down swinging. Fourth strikeout of the afternoon, third for uh, Broski, and that'll bring up Tommy Sheehan. Sheehan was actually the only Oriole not to score in that first inning. He did get a single and managed to advance his way around to third before the inning finally ended. One zero, swung on chopper foul, and it's one ball, one strike. Lucas Broski doing a good job here in relief of uh, Scott Heinrich, who just didn't have what it took here today. Didn't get out of the first inning. The pitch, whoa, that one slipped away a little bit from Broski <laughs> as he went all the way here to the backstop. And it's a two ball, one strike count to the number nine batter, Tommy Sheehan. Nick Baganski, the leadoff batter on deck for Hartford. The pitch swung on fly ball. That's going to get into the gap. And giving chase out there is D'Angelo. He'll pick it up and throw, but not in time as Sheehan slides into second base with a double. Sheehan gave it a ride, found the gap out there, and Left center field, and he slides in with a one-out double. Shortstop, number four, Nick And Hartford Kansky. gets a runner aboard after going down in order in the second inning. <laughs> Top of the order now, Nick Baganski, who batted twice in that first inning. And Baganski takes a hard chopper. To short, stopped by Hinkley. Throw across the diamond is high. Get him, get him. And there'll be no play at third. As Sheehan gets across. And now I think we'll have to wait and see, but you might have to give Hinkley the error on that high throw. And if so, that would be the third error, yeah. So another error, that's the third error of the game against the Spartans. They had two errors in that first inning. So now runners at the corners with only one out. Hartford trying to get back the run that they gave up to West Bend West in the second inning and go back up by seven. Fish to Zimdars is a ball. Zimdars batted twice in the first inning. He singled and scored his first at bat. And then uh, got a single and advanced to second in his second at bat. And this one's a short chopper. They're going to come home for the play at the plate. He's out. Good play there. Good heads up play there by Tyler Young as they get the runner Sheehan out. Five to two is the scoring on that one. So now there's two outs in the inning. Two down for number eight, Zach Brewer. Zimdar is with the fielder's choice on that one. And now the DH, Zach Brewer. Brewer is two for two. He singled twice in that seven run first inning. Again, 13 batters. He was the 12th of the 13 batters in that first inning. 0-1 pitch, swung on and missed for a strike. And Broski ahead now, no balls, two strikes. Pitch, got him, strike three called. And that will end the third inning for the Hartford Orioles. They get no runs on one base hit, and they leave one runner on the base pads. We've played two and a half innings here in West Bend, that it is still the score. Hartford seven, West Bend West one. And welcome back to Carl and Cuss Memorial Field at Regner Park. I'm the Bear, Barry Hirsch. We go to the bottom half of we inning number three. Hartford leading West Bend West seven to one. 
Hartford had another threat going there in their half of the third, but the Spartan defense was able to come up with it. And a couple of big strikeouts from uh, Lucas Broski. So here we go to the bottom of the third, and it is Lucas Broski leading things off. Broski's now in as the pitcher for the Spartans. Pitch, swung on and missed. And it's one ball, one strike. And the 1-1. One, one. Broski follows that one back here into the screen. Broski started the game at first base. He flew to right his first at bat back in the first inning. Came out in relief in the first inning for Scott Heinrich. 1-2, chopper foul. And it's one ball, two strikes. Hinkle, the starting pitcher, still in there for the Hartford Orioles. There's a pitch outside. Swung on and missed by Broski. He's gone. One out. One away, number 15, Gavin Hinkley. Second strikeout of the afternoon for Hinkle. And that'll bring up Gavin Hinkley. Pitch, low, oh, but in that strike zone for a strike, wow. And it's no balls, one strike. Hinkle shakes off the first sign from his catcher, Burkell, now takes the second one in the pitch. In the dirt for a ball. And it's one ball, one strike. Speaking of balls in the dirt, I have a game-used baseball that Bill Albright gave me two years ago. Here's the pitch, swung on, chopper on the infield. Nice scoop up there by the uh, shortstop, uh, Bigalski, and he throws it on for the second out. Finish that thought, Bill Albrecht gave me a game-used baseball from the state championship game two years ago when West Bend West Spartans won it all in the Summer Baseball League. And I have that baseball probably displayed in a baseball display case on my uh, memorabilia shelf at home. Here's Tyler Young now. Young got on base and scored by, hit by a pitch in that second inning for the only run so far today for West Bend West. Hinkle's been challenged, but hasn't really looked threatened much here so far today. The pitch. There's a strike. Trent Burkell is his catcher. And now he's ahead of the count against Tyler Young. No balls, two strikes. 0-2 pitch. Foul back into the screen. Count remains, no balls, two strikes. To pitch, swung on and missed by Tyler Young. He's done, and so are the Spartans here in the third inning. Three up and three down. No runs, no hits. Nobody left on base. Three innings are in the books here at Carl M. Cost Memorial Field at Regner Park, and your score after three innings remains Hartford 7, West Bend West 1. This is High School Baseball on West Bend Community Television. Back at Regner Park, Carlin Cuss Memorial Field. We go to the top of the fourth. Hartford leading West Bend West, seven to one. Lucas Simon, the third baseman, leads it off. Simon, Ziebenlist, and Blake Voss. The four, five, and six batters here for Hartford. Pitch, swung on, fly ball, going into foul territory. Giving chase is gonna be uh, out of play though, no chance at it. And it's no balls, two strikes. A 
Once again, if you're joining our broadcast late, Lucas Broski is on in relief of Scott Heinrich. Heinrich got knocked up big time in the first inning. Broski had to come on and relieve him. And Broski now in his third full inning of work after coming in in the middle of the first to relieve Heinrich, who saw Hartford send 13 batters to the plates and get seven runs. Spartans have got one run so far in just two hits. Here's the one, two. Base hit, that one right back through the box. And so Simon gets his second hit of the game. And the eighth hit of the game. And here is Zach Siebenlist. Siebenlist 0 for 2 so far. Infield ground out in the first inning and a strikeout in the second inning. Broski now from the stretch. Check of the runner. Swung on and missed by Siebenlist. A win here by Hartford today could draw them even a game closer to West Bend West, who have a two-game lead over Hartford right now. West currently tied for fourth with Grafton. The pitch, square to bunt, takes a strike. Hartford sitting in sixth place right now in the North Shore Conference, seven and nine in the conference, nine and 12 overall as they entered play here on this Tuesday in May. Roski's 0-2 pitch, swung on and missed, strike three. Another strikeout for Broski. And that'll bring up Blake Voss. Voss won for two, singled and scored in that big first inning and then struck out in the second inning. Pitch, there's a strike. And you can sense now that Broski again getting in that groove and going through some of the stuff that he did in that second inning when he sent them down in order. A one pitch. Strike two call. Broski now ahead of the count. No balls and two strikes. Looking to Get Voss on a strikeout for the second time here this afternoon. Here it comes. Swung on, fly ball. Left field giving chase underneath it is Weber. He'll make the catch for the out. Two gone here in the Hartford fourth, and that's going to bring up uh, Trent Burkell. Two away from the catcher, number two, Trent Burkell. Burkle uh, walked and scored in the first and then an infield ground out in the second. So now two outs. Lucas Simon with that leadoff single still at first for Hartford. Roski's pitch. Misses for a ball. It's 1-0. Now the 1 0. Low for a ball, 2 0. Two balls, no strikes to the Oriole catcher, Trent Burkell. Pitch. Low, throw to first. Back safely. Logan Rupp now, now over at the first base side. He went there when Broski came in to pitch. There's a strike on the inside corner. And it's three balls and a strike. Broski from the stretch. Swung on, fly ball, center field. Backing up underneath it is D'Angelo. He'll make the catch for the third out. And that'll end Hartford here in the third inning. Orioles get no runs on one hit. They leave one runner stranded on the base pads. After three and a half innings of play, your score remains Hartford 7, West Bend West 1.
And we're back here at Carlin Cusp Memorial Field at Regner Park. I'm the Bear, Barry Hirsch. We go to the home half of the fourth inning. Home team trailing the visiting Hartford Orioles 7-1. to one. It'll be Chesok, D'Angelo, and Kel Kima, the five, six, and seven batters for the Spartans here in the fourth inning. And Chesok looks at a ball. Chesok doubled uh, back in the second inning in his first at bat here this afternoon. A 1-0. Holds up and looks at it, and it's 2-0. Just one run on two base hits so far today here for the Spartans. Three errors though, two of those three coming in the first inning. 2-0 pitch, misses again and it's 3-0. So Logan Chesek now look, looks to maybe hold up on this one and look at a pitch. Pitch from Hinkle. And there's your strike. Very seldom do you see an umpire give a batter a base on balls on four straight pitches. Normally that 3-0 pitch is called a strike. Now the 3-1. Swung on by Chesick. Round ball through the infield. Base hit. So Chesick aboard with his second hit of the game. A single to go with a double earlier. Lead off single for the Spartans. That's their third hit of the game. And here's Jordan D'Angelo. 0 for 1 officially for D'Angelo. Sacrifice fly to right back in the second inning, which scored Tyler Young for the only run so far today here for the Spartans. D'Angelo from the right side batting against Tinkle. Whoa! And Hinkle sends him down. Just quick thinking there by D'Angelo. Got him out of there just in time. And D'Angelo asking the home plate umpire to kind of brush off the plate. We're here in the home half of the fourth. And Hartford leading seven to one. All seven runs so far for Hartford came in that first inning. Since then, just a couple of base hits, but no runs after that. Good relief effort right now by Lucas Broski out there for West Bend West. Hinkle's pitch. Misses for a ball, two and oh. And Hinkle now starting to lose a little bit of velocity and control here in this fourth inning. As he gave up that leadoff single to Chesek and now behind 2-0 oh to D'Angelo. 2-0 oh pitch, just got that inside corner. Wow, and that one looked like it could have been a ball also. So it's two balls and one strike. Check of the runner, from the stretch, the pitch. Swung on, ground ball, does it get through? No, chance to turn two, dump on two and throw to first, safe. So D'Angelo is out uh, on first. Chesick goes out, however. They, they tried turning the proverbial 6-4-3 double play. They weren't able to. And that'll bring up Pacey Kalkima now for the Spartans with one out and one on. Whoa. D'Angelo just gets back in there in time, and the field umpire bearing down on that one and calling him back safe. There's a pitch called strike. No balls, one strike. Hinkle works from the stretch. Checks the runner out of his side. Pitch, low sinker, and it's in there for a swing and a miss and a strike. No balls, two strikes. Now the 0-2, swung on and missed for strike three. Second time today, Kalkima goes down, this time swinging. Third strikeout for Hinkle in the ball game. 
And that'll bring up the number eight batter, Jimmy D'Angelo. Number 28, Jimmy D'Angelo. D'Angelo walked his first at bat back in the second inning. Pitch from Hinkle, low for a ball. 1-0. Chesick led the inning off with a single. He was thrown out on a 6-4 play, and then D'Angelo safe at first on the fielder's choice. Pitch. Oh, wow. That one caught on the outside, but it's in that strike zone by this umpire, so that makes it one ball, one strike. Hinkle check of the runner, throw to first to that runner, and D'Angelo back in. Head down, shoulder in. One ball, one strike. Pitch. That's a ball, and it's two and one. D'Angelo getting his swings in there. Here's the pitch. Swung on, chopper right to the first baseman. And it's an out. And that'll end West Bend West here in the fourth inning. Spartans get no runs on one base hit. And they leave one runner stranded on the base pads. Four innings are in the books here at Carlin Cusp Memorial Field. And your score remains Hartford 7 and the West Bend West Spartans 1. Back with the fifth inning after this on West Bend Community Television. Back here for the fifth inning at Regner Park at Carl M. Cusp Memorial Field. I'm the Bear, Barry Hirsch. Lucas Broski has completed his pitching for today. Broski in relief goes three and two thirds innings, doesn't give up any runs, and uh, struck out five. He uh, gave up a couple of hits, however, but uh, minimized the damage. Now Logan Rupp now will be the new pitcher for the West Bend West Spartans. Third pitcher of the game already for the Spartans. Meanwhile, on the other side, Hinkle is still in, uh, in the dugout now, resting after four innings of work. Gender, Sheehan, and Baganski, the seven, are the not eight, nine, and one batters. Eight, nine, and one batters for Hartford here in the fifth inning. Gender's officially takes a walk to lead off the fifth inning. First walk given up by Rupnow right out of the box. Now bring up Tommy Sheehan. Sheehan is two out of two, a double and a single. As Logan Rupnow is the third pitcher of the game. Broski started at first, came into pitch. Here's a little popper, and oh, Chesick tried to come up with the foul tip catch, was unable to. No balls, one strike. Pitch, square to bunt. Looks at a strike. No balls, two strikes. Seven runs, eight hits, no errors for Hartford through four innings. Spartans, one run, three hits, and three errors. We play in the top of the fifth and lead off runner aboard for Hartford. Sheehan chops one foul. Logan Rupp now the third pitcher being used today by Dan D'Amico for West Bend West. Meanwhile, George Hinkle, still the pitcher of record on the game for Hartford. His team staked him to a seven-run first inning. Next pitch, short chopper on the infield, picked up by D'Angelo. And D'Angelo unable to get it out of his glove and try to make a play on it. So you might have to give Sheehan an infield single on that one. Yes. 
Sheehan gets the hit as Hinkley was unable to get that ball out of his glove. Next batter, number four, Nick Baganski. So to the top of the order for Hartford and it's Baganski. Chance for Hartford now with no outs and two on. Rupp now out of the stretch. Bunt back into the screen for a strike. No balls, one strike. Baganski led off this game today with a error and then came around and scored the first uh, run of the game. And he got on by another error in the third inning. Pitch. Squared a bunt, picked up by Chesok, but it's in foul territory. So it's no balls and two strikes. The way this game started here today didn't look like we would be going the distance, but Credit Lucas Broski for the Spartans keeping them in check and not giving up any more runs. But now here in the fifth, Hartford uh, putting an early threat on with their first two batters on the base pads, nobody out. Piganski steps back in the box. Pitch, whoa, way inside. Chest high at the letters. And that evens the count, two balls, two strikes. Two-two pitch, swung on, ground ball, bounces off the, and he got hit hard in the face too. Here's a run coming around and scoring, it's eight to one. And that took a bad, bad hop. Okay, hit the right guy in the head. Check to see if the ball's okay. And Baganski will get the infield single. That one, wow. Huh? Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully not an injury there to uh, D'Angelo at second base. Give Baganski the single. The run scores to Genders. And it's now an eight to one game. So a leadoff walk comes around and scores, and now back-to-back -back singles. And unfortunately, still nobody out here in the Oriole fifth inning. Number 21, Bryce Zimdars. That'll bring up Zimdars, who's the DH. Zimdars singled and scored in that seven-run first inning. Got on by a fielder's choice, his last at bat back in the third. Runners at the corners of the Orioles, they take their leads. Ruffnell's pitch, swung on a little chopper and that one will bounce foul down the right field line. These two teams play again in the same week. They'll be playing again on Thursday, May the 16th. We are playing here, taping this game for you on Tuesday, May the 14th. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Low for a ball. That second game will be played at Hartford, which is the way that the uh, baseball season works this year. You play the same team twice in the week on either a doubleheader on one day or divided day games. Now the 1-1, swung on a high five, short pop, center field. Coming on is D'Angelo, he'll make the catch and prevents the runner from coming in. Nice play there. <laughs> runner is having to hold their positions. So one out, still not out of the woods yet as he's still got those runners at the corners with only one out. One away for number eight, Zach Brewer. I'll bring up Brewer. Brewer two for three here so far today. Singled and scored in the first, a single in the 
second inning and then a strikeout victim in the third inning. We're up now from the stretch. Pitch low for a ball, 1-0. Up now ready, the pitch. Swung on, and that's gonna be a base hit into center field. And here's Sheehan coming around and scoring now. Misplay the baseball, and Baganski gonna be able to go over to third. So another run coming in for Hartford. Baganski advances to third. Number 27, Lucas Brewer gets Simon. the single. And now Lucas Simon. So two more runs across for Hartford here in the fifth inning after they went scoreless in that second, third, and fourth. And three more hits here in the inning too. Next pit popped up right away and rolling over and making the catch. For the second out. But well, that allows Baganski to come in and score. Two down for number three, Zach Zimmerless. So give Simon the sacrifice fly. Two outs now. And here's Zebenlist. And that is a big run now for Hartford out at first base because that would be the 11th run, which would put them up by 10 if they get it. And then you're looking at a possible run-ruled shortened game here for the Spartans. So you got to watch that runner over there, not let him come across. There's a ball. One ball, no strikes. Zebenlis is hitless today. He's 0 of 3, two strikeouts and an infield ground out. Pitch, takes low for a ball. We're up now having problems. His pitch, swung on, chop foul. And now it's two balls and one strike. Logan Rupp now, the third pitcher here today for the Spartans. Checks the runner at first from the stretch. Pitch. Chop foul over into the third base dugout area of the Spartans. Count full now, three balls, two strikes. Rough now at the stretch. His pitch. Chopper on the infield, picked up by Hinkley. He'll throw across to first, and it's not in time. He's safe. An infield single. He was counting stitches, wasn't he? Wow. An infield single that allows him to come over. And Brewer goes down to second, and the inning continues for the Orioles. Number 22, Blake Boss. And that'll bring up Blake Voss. Voss is one out of three, singled and scored in the first, and a strikeout in the second, and a fly ball in the fourth inning for an out. Two outs here for Hartford, but they're threatening again now. They've already put three across in this inning. They've gotten three runs on four hits in this inning. All right. Blake Voss, eighth batter here for Hartford. Voss takes a hard chopper, infield throw to first, got him to end the inning. 
But the damage is done here in this inning for uh, Hartford as they get more, they get three more runs on four base hits. They leave two runners stranded on the base pads. We are in the middle of the fifth inning and it is now Hartford 10 and West Bend West 1. The Bear Barry Hirsch back with you here at Carl and Cuss Memorial Field at Regner Park. Hartford leading West Bend West now 10 to 1 after putting three more runs up on the board in their half of the fifth. As we go to the bottom of the fifth now for the Spartans. And in the box and leading things off for uh, West Bend West is Brad Weber. So it's the top of the order, Weber, Rupnow, and Broski here in the fifth inning, but now the Spartans down by nine runs. The pitch, there is a strike. And George Hinkle, George Hinkle showing no signs of uh, wearing out here as now his team has taken to a nine run advantage. He had a nice uh, breather there in that inning. Next pitch, chop foul. Weber 0 for two so far today. Officially a two of bats. Infield out in the first inning and then walked in the second inning. I, I, I think Blanc and I did last year. Not, not exactly a banner game so far here today for the Spartans. They've trailed it right from the get go. Weber kicking up a lot of dust out there at the home plate area. Pitch from Hinkle. Check swing, foul ball back into the screen. And it's one ball, two strikes. So after quiet middle innings of three, four, and five for Hartford, they come back in the fifth and get big ones. Here's a pitch, swung on, fly ball, center field, and gonna be caught out there by Zevenless for the first out. One up and one down, and that'll bring up Logan Rupp now. One away for number 13, Logan Rupp now. Rupp now one out of two, a double in the first, and a strikeout victim in the second. Pitch by Hinkle. Down to the knees, and it's one and oh. Now the 1-0, swung on and missed for a strike. And it's one ball, one strike. Now the 1-1, there's a strike. And it's one ball, two strikes. Hinkle's next pitch, just missed, and it's a ball. Count evens now, two balls, two strikes. Two balls, two strikes, one out, nobody on for the Spartans, the pitch. Count goes full on that ball, it's three balls, two strikes. Patience is what these Spartans need right now. A lot of patience at the plate. Take a lot of pitches, let, let Hinkle pitch at you. He hasn't been challenged much at all here today so far. 3-2. Misses, ball four. So Rupp now gets the walk. Number 20, Lucas Broski. And that'll bring up Broski. Came in in relief pitch in the first inning and then pitched innings two, three, four. So he went three and two thirds uh, as the pitcher today. He's 0 of two so far at the plate. And the first pitch misses for a ball. Now check of the runner, here's the pitch. 
Low again, and it's 2-0. Two balls, no strikes. Rough now, the runner at first gets his lead. Pitch swung on and a fly ball foul out of play over in the street area. <coughs> Haven't seen many baseballs make the driveway at the Boys and Girls Club across the street from us yet today. Some days there's kids over there shucking the uh, foul balls that hit over there. A little quiet over there today though. Now the 2-1. Whoa, chin music inside, and it's 3-1. and one. Broski taking some good looks at some pitches here too now by Hinkle. So swung on miss, throw back to first, no play. And it's a full count now, three balls, two strikes. Broski back in the box now. Hinkle glares down to get the sign from his catcher, Burkell. Pitch on the way, missed it, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks given up by Hinkle here in the fifth. Puts runners at first and second with only one out and uh, looks like we're here to pinch hitter. Looks like Clayhouse will bat for Hinkley. Kleinhaus in as a pinch hitter. Next pitch missing. One ball, no strikes. Slight breeze coming out of the southeast right now. We were at 73 degrees at game time. It's dropped just a couple of degrees. We're down to 71 degrees, but uh, a little bit overcast skies yet still now. Still a nice early evening for baseball here in West Bend. Check of the runners, the pitch. Whoa, that'll hit him and he'll get a base. And that'll load him up for the Spartans. Hey, at this point, you're down by nine runs. Take it any way you can. Back-to-back -back walks and a hit pitch. And that's gonna bring a uh, meeting out at the mound. And it's possible Hinkle might have just run out of gas, so to speak here. And yeah, that's all for Hinkle. So here's Tyler Young with the bases loaded and only one out. Young was hit by a pitch back in the second inning, came around and scored what has so far been the only run for the Spartans. And now Colin Jornt, the new pitcher, will step in. From the stretch, his first offering is a hard chopper to third, take the force out at third, throw across the diamond to first. It's in the dirt. And runners are caught up, not sure what to do. And they'll come around and, wow, that could have been disastrous. Yeah, it looks strange that he wasn't trying to score, but he was out. So there's two outs. And now runners are at second and third. Two down for number six, Logan Chesa. Now Chessock steps in. Chessock two out of two, a double in the second and a single in the fourth. So he's two of two. The pitch. Swung on, fly ball, might get into the gap, and it will get into the gap. Diving attempt is no good, goes all the way to the wall, and two runs are gonna score here for the Spartans. 
And Chessa continues his hot afternoon at the plate. Number eight, Jordan D'Angelo. So Chessock continues his hot day at the plate, two doubles and a single. And two runs come in, and it's now, Armika, three runs came in, I believe. So it's 10 to four. And that'll close the book on uh, Hinkle. No balls, one strike. Pitch. A little bit upstairs on that one. D'Angelo looking for his first hit of the game. Got on by a fielder's choice his last at bat and then a sack fly to right back in the second. So now only down by six. Closest the Spartans have been was when they trailed seven to one, they were down by six. The pitch in the dirt. Nice save there by Burkle, the catcher. And it remains two balls and a strike. From the stretch, check of the runner. 2-1 pitch misses, and it goes to 3-1. and one. Three balls, one strike with two gone here for the Spartans in the fifth, but three runs have come across. Swung on and a miss for a strike, and it's three and two. Jornt taking his time between pitches. And a little bit too much time now as D'Angelo steps out of the box, and now he'll get back in. Three, two pitch. Missed it outside, ball four. So a walk. Number two, and Casey. now Burner's at first and second with two outs. And here's Pacey Kalkima now. Two strikeouts so far today, looking for his first hit. There's the ball, 1-0. Oh. Turning in to be a long affair here today at Regner Park, approaching the two-hour mark right now, and we're still in the fifth inning. It was a long first inning just to get the game going. As Hartford sent 13 batters to the plate on the route, scoring seven runs. They scored three runs again in the fifth. Way off first base, and just in time. And now here in the bottom of the fifth, it's the Spartans with a little bit of noise having scored three runs already. So a long fifth inning as a whole for both teams. Both teams putting up three runs in their half of the fifth. Now the 1-1. Swung on, fly ball, center field. This should be enough for the out as Siebenholz gets it, and that'll end the inning. But 
The Spartans strike Petert again as they come up with three runs on just one base hit. And they do leave two runners stranded on the base pads. Five innings are now complete here at Regner Park, and your score now reads Hartford 10 and West Bend West 4. This is High School Baseball on West Bend Community Television. The Bear Barry Hirsch back at Carlin Cuss Memorial Field here at Regner Park in West Bend. A busy fifth inning, both for the Spartans and the Orioles. Both teams putting off three runs in their innings. And uh, it's now a 10 to 4 baseball game. We have a new pitcher now for the Spartans, the fourth pitcher of the afternoon. This will be Andrew Beertzer now pitching for the Spartans. As he will face uh, Burkell, Genders, and Sheehan here in the sixth, the seven, eight, and nine batters for the Orioles. Here's the pitch. There's a strike. And he's ahead of the count, one ball, two strikes. Rupp now goes one inning for the Spartans this afternoon, gives up three hits and three runs, walks one batter. Pitch, fly ball, and is that gonna drop in? It does down the line. For a single, just down that baseline. They had to wait and see if it was gonna drop in or not, and it did. So a leadoff single for Trent Burkell. So that brings up Cade Genders. Genders on a, uh, officially in three at bats today is hitless. He's been walked twice and scored twice, then struck out swinging in the third inning. And again, Hartford today is the definitely the aggressor. Ten runs on 12 base hits. Squares to bunt. Through five innings, the Spartans have four runs on four hits. Spartans have also committed four errors here today in the game. Make that six errors. One ball, one strike. Andrew Beertzer, the new pitcher for West Bend West, working against Cade Genders. Trent Burkell is at first base with his lead. The pitch, swung on a miss for a strike. And it's one and two. Spartans again losers of four of their last five games on the season. And they did have a win in the game previous to this one against Graft, and there's a swing and a miss for a strike. Genders goes down Tommy swinging. Sheehan. And that'll bring up Tommy Sheehan. First strikeout for Beertzer. Here's Sheehan. Three for three, two singles and a double. Single and scored back in that three run fifth inning. Boy, take away those three runs that Hartford got in their half of the fifth, but keep the three runs that the Spartans got, and it would be a little bit tighter now. It would only be a 7-4 to four game rather than a 10-4 to four game. Pitch, swung on and foul back into the screen. One ball, one strike. She and the... Uh, Number nine batter for the Orioles. Here's the pitch. Just missed. Orioles will go to back to the top of the order after this. Beganski is on deck. Check of the runners, the pitch. Low, it's three and one. Three balls, one strike. Beertzer's pitch. There's a strike. Sheehan thought he might have had the free base on balls initially and started to advance to first. Full count now, three and two. 
Pitch, runner goes, swung on and missed for a strike, throw it on to second, and he got him! Strike him out, throw him out. A strikeout and a throw out to end the inning. And that'll do it for Hartford here uh, in the sixth inning. They get no runs on one hit, and they don't leave any runners stranded on the base pads. Five and a half innings are through here now, and your score is now Hartford 10, West Bend West 4. Leading off for West Bend here in the sixth, number 28, Jimmy Fiento. Back at Regner Park. Carlin Cus Memorial Field. We go to the home half of inning number six. Spartans running out of opportunities here. They trail 10 to four. Jimmy D'Angelo steps in to lead it off. It'll be the eight, nine, and one batters for the Spartans here in the sixth inning. Colin Jornt on for his second inning of work here. The pitch. This is for a ball, two and oh. Again, if you're joining us late, this game between Hartford and West Bend West being played on Tuesday, May the 14th. Same two teams will be meeting over in Hartford on Thursday, May the 16th. So two days from now when we're being taped for this game being played. Misses again for a ball. It's 3-0. and Spartans with two innings remaining in their at-bats. They need six runs to tie. Seven would win it. Pitch. Missed for a ball. And D'Angelo leads the inning off with a walk. Number 26, Brad Weber. So we go back to the top of the order, and it's Brad Weber. And Weber looks for his first hit of the game, but before Weber can come up to bat, it looks like Hartford is going to change pitcher, so Colin Jornt stint does not go far at all here today. A little bit of a little relief job. And here comes the pitch. Square to bunt and it'll go foul. That was not a sack mark. Nope. Not with a six run deficit, right? So it's no balls and one strike to the Spartan left fielder, Brad Weber, looking for his first hit, batting from the left side of the plate. Check of the runner, he goes, pitch. Yeah, he's gonna hold up and there's a strike. So he's even list ahead in the count, 0-2. Pitch. Foul back into the screen right in front of us. I was on that one. I just snapped that one off. No balls, two strikes. Looked like there for a while in that fifth inning that this could be a short run rule game as Hartford had what would have been the 11th run on the board and put him up 11 to 1. Pitch. Swung on, fly ball, foul out of play, giving chases the. First baseman uh, Brewer, but he will not get it. It goes out behind the dugout. Oh no, he made the catch. He made the catch out of our vantage point, but behind the dugout for the out. Wow. One away for number 13, Logan Rucknow. So a pop fly foul ball out for the first out, and that brings up Logan Rucknow. Up now batting right-handed, takes a strike. And it's 0-1. Hartford's had a couple of good defensive plays here today, including that last one there by Weber. Uh, the foul ball that was caught by Brewer. One ball, one strike. Check of the runner, pitch. Swung on, chopper, off the start. Mixed it again. And on the base is Rupp now. D'Angelo goes down to second. And give Rupp now the hit. 
So runners at first and second now for the Spartans with only one out. And here's Lucas Broski. Broski's been very busy here today. Started at first, went to pitch. Now back at first. Unfortunately at the plate though, uh, hitless, but he did walk and score the first of three runs back in that fifth inning. Now the 1-0. There's a strike. One ball, one strike. Spartans will need every at-bat here today, including being the last at-bats with the home team. Next pitch. Misses. Two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1. Swung on and missed. A little bit of heat coming there by Zeman List on that one. And it's two balls, two strikes. Kleinhaus is the on deck hitter for the Spartans. 2 2 pitch. Swung on. Chopper on the infield. Tossed to second for one. Relay to first. No, it's in the dirt. And two runs will come in for the Spartans on that miss throw. D'Angelo comes in. And it's 10 to 5. Michael Kleinhaus. So here's Kleinhaus. This is his first at bat today. Came in earlier as a pinch runner. Pitch inside. 2 0. Now the 2 0 pitch. There's a strike. 2 and 1. Still an opportunity for a run to come across here for the Spartans if Kleinhaus can get a connection. Pitch, swung on in the dirt. Broski now moves over to third. Here's the 2-2, swung on, whoa, high five, pop, foul into the third base dugout of the Spartans. Count remains two balls, two strikes. Now Zeman List with the pitch. Just missed that one for Zeman List and it goes full now. Three balls and two strikes. Runner at third is Broski. Gets a little bit of a lead. Pitch, pop fly ball, foul territory. Brewer giving chase again, and he'll make the catch. Second one he makes to end the inning. But the Spartans pick up one more run on two base hits, and they leave one runner stranded on the base pads. We are through six innings, and your score now reads Hartford 10 and West Bend West 5. This is High School Baseball on West Bend Community Television. And we are back here at Regner Park, Carl and Cuss Memorial Field. It is the top of the seventh inning. Hartford leading 10 to five. It's the one, two, and three hitters, Boganski, Henkel, and Brewer. And the Spartans will get their final at bats. They will need five runs to tie. Here's the 
There is a strike. Baganski has a single and a score. He got on by an error to start this game and scored in the first. And then got on by an error in the third. So he's had a pretty busy day at the plates as he leads off here in the seventh inning. Aaron Beertzer's pitch is a strike. And it's two balls, two strikes. Beertzer, the fourth pitcher used today here for the Spartans. Meanwhile, Harper is on their third pitcher. 2-2 two -two pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's a strikeout. A low sinker there. Baganski goes down swinging. Third strikeout for Beertzer. And with one out, Bryce Zimdar is the DH coming up. Zimdar is two singles today. And then popped out in the fifth, and then the third, he got a fielder's choice. This will be his fifth at bat. One ball, no strike. Pitch. Low for a ball. 2 0. Oh. Two balls, no strikes. One away. Pitch upstairs. Looking ahead to the West Bend West seventh inning, it'll be Tyler Young, Logan Chesak, and Jordan D'Angelo, the first three batters that'll come up in the bottom of the seventh. 3 0 pitch, lost at ball four. So he strikes off the lead batter, then comes back now and walks Zimders. First walk given up by Beertzer. Brewer. Brings up uh, Zach Brewer. Brewer three for four. Three singles and then a strikeout. So another productive day for him has been a lot of the Hartford batters. Looks at a strike though on the first pitch from Beardser. 0 and 1. Starting to get a little bit of overcast skies here at Regner Park as we play in the last inning of this game. Pitch. Upstairs for a ball. I guess I shouldn't say the last inning. It is possible the Spartans could force extra innings by scoring uh, at least five runs. That given the fact that they don't give up a run here in the top of the seventh. Pitch. Low inside the dirt. Throw by Cheswick the first. Who just missed him. Broski thought he had him on the tag. But Zimders got in there safely. Good toss to first there by Logan Chesek. And Broski had had the uh, grasp on it, but just couldn't get a piece of on them to make the out. Now the 2-1. Misses for a ball, it's 3-1. Beatrice 3-1, and he missed that one, it's ball four. So he gives up back-to-back -back walks after getting a leadoff strikeout. And now runners at first and second with only one out. And a meeting at the mound, and we'll see if that's all for Beertzer. And it looks like they will stick with Beertzer. And Lucas Simon will coming to the plate. Simon, a pair of singles, a strikeout, and a sacrifice fly on his afternoon so far. He did score one of the seven runs back in that seven-run first inning. Pitch on the inside for a strike, and it's 0-1. Barnes could use a double play ball right here to get out of the inning and get to that dugout for the bottom of the seventh. Pitch. Misses for a ball. Well, 
Well, as I look out over right field at this point, I see they have turned the lights on on the softball diamond, which is behind us out in right field. Pitch, swung on a miss, strike two. No lights are coming on here yet at our game on the uh, main field here at Regner Park, Harlem Cusp Memorial Field. Temperatures dropped a little bit too since we started this game. Pitch, swung on, line shot into left center field for a base hit. Runners had to hold up until they could see what happened, but uh, in the meantime now, Zimdars goes down to third, Brewer to second. As Simon gets the single. Number three, Zimenlist. And now here's Zimenlist, who has come on to pitch in relief. He'll bat for himself. Pitch, Woo, right back in the screen, right in front of me. I couldn't quite grasp it. <laughs> no balls in one strike. Pitch low inside for a ball. Next home game for the West Bend West Spartans will also be one of our TV games when they take on Kettle Moraine. Pitch, swung on, chopper on the infield, a slow one. Run will come in and score, throw across. Safe on a slow rolling chopper. So Zimdars comes in to score. Brewer goes to third. Simon down to second and give Zebenlist the single. Number 22, Blake Voss. So still only one man out. Baganski led the inning off with a strikeout swinging and that's been it. Zimdar has walked and has now scored. Brewer walked is now at third. Simon singled, he's now down at second. And Zebenlist moments ago singled. So bases loaded, one out, 11 to 5. <laughs> and now you do have to think about the run rule game here because we've played five complete innings. So should Hartford go up by 10 runs, that would be the game. Even And West Bend West would not get their final at bats in the seventh because it would be a 10 run game through five innings and we're in the seventh. But they still need four more runs, but they're threatening now with the bases loaded and only one out. Pitch, upstairs. Next pitch, in the dirt. Chesek couldn't find it at first, then he got it. So it's three balls and one strike to Blake Voss. A walk gives him an RBI at this point because it would bring in a run. Pitch, there's a strike. Count full now, three balls, two strikes. And he missed it, ball four. Voss gets the free ride and that will bring in Brewer for a run. Bases are still gonna be loaded here for Hartford in the seventh. Trent Burkell will be the next batter. It's now 11 to five in favor of Hartford. or make it 12 to five, I believe. It was the second run of the inning. Yeah, it's 12 to five. So now here's Trent Burkle. Burkle only has a single so far today, but he's been on base uh, one other time, that back in the first. 
First pitch is a ball, 1-0. Oh. Next pitch. Misses away, ball two, 2-0. Two and, oh. and again, another situation here. A walk brings in another run. Ethier's pitch, not even close. And it's three balls, no strikes. To the Hartford Oriole catcher, Trent Burkle. Coming up on the next pitch. There's a strike. This game's starting to shadow much like a Brewer game in the major leagues, coming up on almost over two and a half going into the three hour mark. Pitch swung on on the dirt at second, takes it for one, relay over to first, not in time. That's another bad hop. Another run scores. So they get Voss on the force out. Number nine, Cade Genders. Fielder's choice for Burkell, and now Cade Genders comes up with two outs. But now it's 13 to five. There's a strike. So with two outs, runners at the corners, and you could say the game winning and game ending run is at first base for Hartford. Pitch. Swung on, fly ball, center field. This should end the inning. D'Angelo makes the catch, and that will end the inning. But the Orioles come back here in their half of the seventh inning with three more runs to tack on, and they get two more base hits to go with it. They do leave. Two runners yeah, stranded on the base pads. It's the do or die bottom of the seventh inning coming up for West Bend West when we return. Your score is Hartford 13, West Bend West 5. Welcome back to Carlin Cus Memorial Field at Regner Park. I'm the Bear Barry Hirsch. Bottom of the seventh inning here in this North Shore Conference game, and the Spartans find themselves down by eight at 13 to 5. So the Spartans will have to really get a lot going here if they want something to happen. Tyler Young, Logan Chesick, and Jordan D'Angelo will be the three first batters here in this bottom of the seventh inning. And the first pitch by Ziebenlist is a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. Next pitch is a strike. So we can get it one more hit in the run, make a 6-6-6 six, six, six across the board. <laughs> <laughs> Next pitch misses. That's kind of game. Yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely. <laughs> Next pitch swung on and missed for a strike. I think I've seen that last year too. There were a lot of games in here, four or five years. And the next one just misses. Here's a 3-2. Swung on a miss for a strike, and there's one gone. That'll bring up Logan Chesick. One away for the six. First pitch, misses for a ball. He's got three other five hits. One ball, one strike. Logan Chesek has got three hits today, two doubles and a single. 
And he's also caught a pretty good game behind the plate. So he's, he's done everything in his behalf to try to make something happen here. But it just hasn't been a day for the Spartans. They trailed this one right out of the get-go at 7-0 in the first inning. Hartford sent 13 batters to the plate in that first inning, getting seven runs on six hits. Aided by two West Bend errors, and they knocked starting pitcher Scott Heinrich out of the box after only a third of an inning of work. Next pitch. Misses for a ball. It's full count now. Three balls, two strikes. Now the 3-2. Missed it, and he gets the free ride. Well, that's the start of what could be a long and big comeback at this point for the Spartans, down by eight. Jordan D'Angelo will be up. Jordan D'Angelo. D'Angelo 0 for 2. Fielder's choice in the fourth. Walked in the fifth. Sack fly in the uh, second inning. Pitch by Ziebenlist is a strike. No balls in one strike. Next pitch, runner goes, and they'll just give him the base. Not to sound mean, but it's a meaningless runner out there at this point, down by the eight runs. It's not like he's the tying run at this point. So runner on second now, and the pitch. Popped up behind the grandstand roof. And it's no balls and two strikes. George Hinkle started the game for Hartford. He went four and a third innings. Next pitch is a ball. Colin Jornt came in in relief. He pitched an inning and two thirds. And now it's Zach Ziebenlist, and it looks like they'll make him try to finish this one out. He's two outs away from getting this victory for Hartford. And they'll call a balk on that one. Chesick took off with the pitch, and. Didn't know what to happen. It almost looked like they were going to catch him out there in the middle of nowhere land. So now he's at third base with only one out. D'Angelo back in. Pitch. Misses for a ball. And that evens the count. Two balls, two strikes. And now the 2-2. Swung on, pop, foul shot back into the screen. Two balls, two strikes. Maybe I should have worn my Spartan cap today to help spark them on. Instead, I elected to wear my Bucks hat today. Here's the pitch. Ground ball on the infield, scooped up nicely by the uh, second baseman, Sheehan. And he got him for the out, almost beat it out, but not quite. Two down for number two. Chesick comes in and scores on the uh, infield there, so it's now 13 to six. And now here is what is a chance with two outs. Pacey Kalkima. Pacey 0 for 3 today. He's been the DH. Pitch. Swung on, chopper foul on the first base side. If Pacey can get on, Jimmy D'Angelo is in the on deck circle waiting to bat. Spartans down to their final out here in this one, though.
Biggest inning today for the Spartans was the fifth inning when they showed a little bit of sign of life. Here's the pitch. Chopper down the second baseman. This should end it. Sheehan with the toss to first. There it is. That'll end it. 4-3 on the putout. Officially for the Spartans here in the seventh inning. They get one run on no hits. They picked up the run. No errors and no one left on base. So that is your final score here today from Regner Park and Carl M. Cuss Memorial Field. The Hartford Orioles get the victory, getting 13 runs on 15 base hits. Uh, two, three, four, six, they leave eight runners stranded on the base pads. For the West Bend West Spartans today taking the loss, they come up with uh, six runs on six base hits. The errors are what hurt the Spartans today, six big errors in the game. So your final score here at Carlin Cus Memorial Field at Regner Park in this North Shore Conference game, the Hartford Orioles 13 and the West Bend West Spartans 6. Thank you for watching this presentation of West Bend Community Television's High School Baseball. I'm the Bear, Barry Hirsch.